Hi, everyone. Salam, greetings, a warm welcome to you wherever you are. Good morning from Toronto. My name is Mehdat, and it's my pleasure to be here with all of you today to celebrate awesome Wikimedians from around the world. I see many of you watching on YouTube and on Feedloop, and for whoever is watching later, big welcome to you, and thank you so much for being here. Hi, everyone. Salam. Greetings. You know, Phoebe Ayers famously said, it's not Wikimania if people aren't frantically looking for Jimmy. So I wonder where he is today, because he's not here. Jimmy, wherever you are, we are ready. Okay, wait, I have an email from Jimmy, guys. Let's see. Hmm. This is awkward. This is the first time I'm emailing you this year. Okay, okay, that's, that's not the right one. Oh, I have another email. Maybe he's here. Wait, it's... Andreas Kobe looking for the Wikimedia Accounting Convention. Okay, not him either. Jimmy. Hello. Hey, Jimmy. How are you? I'm great. How are you? It's, um, I had the right link finally. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm so happy we're here once again. We're starting to reconnect with each other, including, if you didn't catch today's announcement, next year it's Wikimania in Singapore. It's today is the final day of Wikimania, and we're all so happy to be here. Jimmy, I think we've learned a lot as a movement during the pandemic. Um, how do you feel about reconnecting once again in person, including some upcoming events like Wiki Arabia, the CEE meeting in Daba, French and German Wiki conventions, and more? Oh, well, I mean, it's really exciting. I'm, I'm very excited for us to get back to meeting in person. I mean, you know, what's interesting about Wikipedia and, and Wikimedians and how we work is we, we do, uh, we work from home. We, we, we do all the key heavy lifting, uh, just typically as a hobby sitting, working on our own computers. But these meetings, the live meetings have such an incredible role to play in the serendipity of sharing ideas in, in making friends in a different kind of way. Obviously you can make friends online, but it's really wonderful to sit uh, together uh, in person and uh, share a meal and so forth. Um, and obviously it, it helps in many ways to reduce conflict because uh, it's quite easy online to sort of have a conflict with a person who, if you met them in person, you would both realize, oh, actually, uh, you know, it was the online thing that was making us have a conflict. So I think it's, it's really important, really exciting, really fun. Um, and actually Singapore, um, when I first, uh, you know, heard that, I thought, oh gosh, you know, it's so hot. It's going to be so hot in Singapore. I actually checked. Today, it's actually hotter here in London than it is in Singapore. So who knows what the weather's going to hold in the future. Absolutely. And I, I can't wait for the ECAP community to host the Wikimedia movement. Jimmy, Definitely. COVID was a big topic last year, a major topic that impacted the world. Of course, it also impacted our movement. Um, how do you think we have... Now that it's, it's almost feeling like we're coming out of the pandemic, how do you feel like our movement um, has really stood, has stood its ground? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been really heartwarming. It's really an incredible thing to see. Uh, you know, I meet a lot of people and, and one of the things that people, uh, they sort of realized it and it was like for the first time they realized that they believed something, which is that Wikipedia would be a good place to go uh, for information about COVID. Uh, you know, there was all this misinformation, disinformation online. Uh, I mean, I personally uh, sort of <laughs> sort of, almost yelled citation needed at some people in a uh, school WhatsApp group. And people on the WhatsApp group were talking about uh, using onions, uh, boiling onions in your kitchen to cure COVID. And I said, this is ridiculous. Please go read the Wikipedia entry. I hadn't even looked at the Wikipedia entry, but I knew it would not say that. Um, and a lot of people really came to understand through this that, oh, actually, Wikipedia is the place that you can go and you can generally trust it. And it's quite good. And there's really good people uh, behind it who are trying to make things right. And so a lot of people then asked me, what did you have to do different? How did you deal with this differently? And I said, you know what, actually, it's it's what we've always done. It's, it's you know, principles of verifiability, uh, you know, all, all of the the processes and the community discussions and the chewing on things and reliable sources and so forth. 
we've always been doing this. And so when we face a new challenge, uh, obviously our, our existing principles are the right principles to start with. Absolutely. And through countless crises that really, really showed us how resilient they are. Another major topic this year was and still is the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which really impacted so many community members and fellow humans in Ukraine. We had great coverage from Ukraine over Wikimania and some wonderful sessions. Six months later, it's unfortunately still raging on. It has also had a negative impact on individuals and groups in the movement and also in Russia and Belarus and in diaspora. It has also spread misinformation about Wikimedia and other trustworthy sources of information and even threatened access to free knowledge. How do you think our movement has faced such crises and challenges in the past, you know, 22 years? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting because I do feel that the current times are in, in some ways worse uh, than we have faced in the past uh, around these kinds of issues. It's been really rare throughout the years for Wikimedians to be arrested for the crime of being a Wikimedian. I mean, it's, it's just kind of unheard of and, and new ground. And it really disturbs me greatly. Um, I remember many years ago, I was once given an award and sort of the text of the award uh, said I was a hero. And I, I, in my acceptance speech, I said, look, I'm not a hero. I'm just a, a guy who types on his computer a lot. But every Wikipedia and every Wikimedian who's working in a conflict zone or in any place where speaking simple encyclopedia truth can lead to arrest or prison time, those people are, are the heroes. And that's really uh, something I think everyone in the movement can feel, particularly those of us who are fortunate enough to live in a place where, uh, you know, this isn't, this isn't a concern and we are able to just research and write and nobody's going to bother us for doing it and so forth. So, you know, through the years, I think the, one of the ways the movement has dealt with this um, is actually by staying principled, staying true to the truth, which means that governments around the world know that you can't just sort of order Wikipedia to be edited to suit what you want and have that magically happen. Um, and I think that actually reduces the amount of attempts uh, to improperly and use pressure to, to change Wikipedia. But um, these are serious times. And, uh, you know, I think the people who are out there uh, doing everything they can to keep Wikipedia high quality and neutral in conflict zones, it's just incredible to me. Uh, really, really incredible people. Truly, and our, our movement is made up of a lot of incredible people. Thank you, Jimmy. We're really blessed to have such awesome community members and volunteers really from all walks of life contributing to the projects. Speaking of amazing <laughs> Wikimedians, I feel like it was just last year when we were um, hosting these events again. Shall we, shall we take a quick look? Yeah. Amazing. So last year, Jimmy, for the first time, we expanded the award to have multiple categories. Uh, what were some of your favorites? Oh, well, I mean, it's having multiple categories was probably long overdue because as soon as we did it, it, it clicked in my mind. It just made a lot of sense because, uh, you know, we, we have so many different types of contributors who are doing different things that are all uh, key to the movement. So uh, tech contributor, media contributor, and so forth. Uh, and, you know, I just think those categories are, you know, it's something that we might not have been able to recognize those people if we only had one award per year, but they're really important. Absolutely. And, um, you know, last year's awards saw winners from profiles and regions of the world we had never had before. The top winner was an emergency room doctor that has also contributed a great deal of information to Arabic Wikipedia and elsewhere, including COVID-19 coverage. Um, we also had Dr. Neta Hussein. Jimmy, I'm convinced Neta and Ala have more than 24 hours in their days. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting how you know, when we've got these traditional principles and everything is clicking along and everything is, you know, sort of a point. And then a crisis happens, something like COVID happens. And then people really rise to the challenge. Uh, they somehow manage to have careers and still make thoughtful contributions and thousands of edits. Um, you know, it's really, um, uh, it, it's, it's amazing to me. I don't know how people, I don't know how people can edit so much. I'm, I'm a very slow editor myself. 
it's it's truly incredible and last year we also had three winners from south asia a really a first for the awards we got to celebrate tech we got to celebrate photography in distinct categories of their own jimmy have you been photographing butterflies since ananias win last year you know no i haven't but you know what i told uh the story about photographing butterflies and giving award last year to my younger children and they were very very interested so they're not really old enough yet to contribute text and edit Wikipedia, uh, but they loved the idea of contributing photos. So we started a project at home to use an app to identify and photograph all the plants in our garden. Uh, we haven't uploaded anything yet, uh, but we will. But I think for me, that's one of the great things about recognizing different categories is certain people may say, oh, I'm, I'm not the right person. Like, I don't know how to really, I'm, I don't feel confident in my writing skills. I'm not that interested in looking up sources and so forth. But I actually am a good photographer and that's a way I can contribute. And so, and that could be maybe younger people or it could be just people who have photography as a hobby. So I think identifying um, all these different types of people is really wonderful. Truly, I, I couldn't agree more. And we also got to celebrate Carmen Alcazar last year, a true legend in the movement. Um, Jimmy, I know you love small projects. Last year, we had um, our first winner from Southeast Asia, Karma Chitrawati. Um, this was also the first time we celebrated a newcomer. Um, yeah. What is the importance of celebrating newcomers to you? Well, um, actually, what I would like to talk about now is, is small projects. Um, what I love about small projects um, is that, you know, the original vision for Wikipedia is uh, a a free encyclopedia for every single person on the planet. And that means that the smaller project, the smaller language projects are of utmost importance. And they're, they're really hard. They're hard to find people to, to build them. And they're, those communities uh, face huge obstacles. In many cases, there aren't that many uh, sources in their own language, so they have to deal with that and so on and so forth. There's so much to be done there. And it's really crucial for that original vision of every single person on the planet having free access to the sum of all human knowledge. So uh, that's really great. I can talk more about newcomers, uh, but let's get to that a little bit later. Yes, absolutely. And actually in honor of last year's newcomer of the year from a small project for Balinese Wikipedia, we have an awesome performance for all of you from Indonesia to kickstart the Wikimedian of the Year 2022 awards. Enjoy. Kumaha, Damang. Apa kare, ba? Horas! Gimana kabar, Jo? Ken, ken, kabare. We are so happy to be here today and to share some of our cultural knowledge with you. We are performing an art show which will describe the wonderful Indonesia. Wikimedians, Janji by Yuyun Arfa.
was amazing. Um, that was a gift from Wikimedia Indonesia in celebration of last year's first awardee from Southeast Asia. Uh, the group is called Yuyun Arfa, and there's another performance by them at the very end of the show. Jimmy, did you enjoy that? Oh, yeah, it was fantastic. I, uh, I'm definitely going to have to uh, watch it again, because uh, for us, uh, if the people watching probably don't realize we can't actually hear the audio while it's on. Uh, so I was watching it. It's fascinating. So now I'm eager to go and watch the full performance. I've, I've watched it so many times and every time I'm still impressed. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much. Kicking off the 2022 Wikimedian of the Year Awards. Jimmy, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Do you agree? Uh, yeah, I definitely do agree. And, uh, you know, I, I've talked a fair amount today about uh, photography and how it can inspire different people to join the movement. But there's also uh, about media contributions um, as outreach uh, and how that can enrich the movement. So not things being put into Wikipedia, but things about Wikipedia and about our movement. Um, and that's particularly true because, you know, in, in the past, the main way that people accessed the internet generally was go to a search engine, Google typically, type in whatever you're thinking about and then you get pages back and obviously Wikipedia uh, gets huge traffic that way, but lots of people are living uh, different ways and, and they're, they're coming to the internet in different ways and interacting in different ways. And so that sort of information seeking and engagement uh, is changing. And I think that's really important. And, and I think as a movement, we should think about that. I don't think we should turn Wikipedia into TikTok, but um, I think we should think about how do we reach people where they live, so to speak. 
absolutely. And there's no doubt that our projects are vast. You know, Jimmy, I've, I've always been curious how deep Wikipedia does go. Do you know? <laughs> I don't know, but let's find out. So I like made it during COVID quarantine, like early, early on, like uh, maybe early April 2020. And um, no, I was not, I wouldn't have ever called myself a Wikipedian then. I had done a few one-off edits. Like if I saw something that was wrong and bothered me, I had changed things. And I remember I, I added to lists sometimes, just like small, small edits here and there. I didn't have an account. I just was aware of Wikipedia and I would definitely call myself at the time, like a Wikipedia enthusiast. Um, but then, yeah, I started the account. It's like similar to cool freaks, Wikipedia club on Facebook. So I'm definitely not the sole pioneer of <laughs> like, like collecting fun Wikipedia articles um, in any way. And I still feel like um, every day I learn something new about the Wikimedia, like global movement or history or just something and I'm I'm flabbergasted by how much I don't know because there's so many little corners of the project that I have never encountered I'm trying to think like there's like a way to make knowledge graphs on Wikidata I had never seen it before it's so fun I was like on a call with somebody and he was showing me the um the like visualization of the Kardashian family tree which is so silly but I was like are you kidding me this is a Wikimedia thing like I'm just always learning things. So this is a very roundabout answer. I'm sorry. I, if you're if you're doing word for word quotes, I'm gonna sound like I'm um making no sense. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Someone has How joined. Are you? Surprise. I think part of uh, the future of the movement is outreach to young people. So obviously Instagram, TikTok, that sort of thing. Um, but also getting out. For me, one of the important things about Wikipedia is, yes, of course, it's all very serious business, but it should be fun as well. And sort of that lighthearted, um, very, very dry Wikipedia humor when people allow it is fantastic. And you're highlighting that. Um, and I think it might actually get people to come and think about contributing who might otherwise just think, oh, that's like a really dry, geeky activity to go like, oh, actually, it can be kind of quirky and interesting. From the short list, I have selected you as Media Contributor of the Year. Um, for your, obviously, the very active depths of Wikipedia channel, uh, uh, using TikTok, Instagram to get out the word about Wikipedia. Um, I, it actually says here in the written thing, I wouldn't have written it this way, but kind of like it, to preach the gospel of Wikipedia. <laughs> I think it's rather amusing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Did you think in two years you would end up here on a surprise call with Jimmy Wales? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I was in my bedroom, like in college, in my college bedroom, just like, haha, this is funny, post, post. So, wow. I think when I started it, I did not expect very much at all. I thought maybe it would be a little bit funny. Maybe it would keep me and my friends entertained. And I thought maybe in some crazy world, um, it would become a popular meme page. And to me, popular, my standards were like, oh, it would be crazy if I got 5,000 followers, which is a lot, but now it's at, you know. Hi, my name is Annie Rowerda. I run the Depths of Wikipedia account on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and I'm so honored to be at Wikimania this year. Wikipedia on English alone has 6.6 .6 million articles. Um, so of course, some of them are absolutely hilarious. When I was quarantined in 2020, I started reading Wikipedia more, I started editing more, and then I started collecting my favorite weird articles that I stumbled upon. List of classical music concerts with an unruly audience response, or list of sexually active popes, or list of people who have lived in airports. I started the Depths of Wikipedia Instagram account in 2020, and since then, it's grown to a million followers. I started a TikTok, which has 600,000 followers. Or, nope, I'm getting them mixed up. TikTok has 110,000. Twitter has 600,000. Needless to say, it's kind of a lot, and I've gotten some media coverage as well. I um, am so excited to have this massive platform, and I have used it to recruit more editors to the site, hopefully in sustainable, good ways. I've hosted edit-a-thons with Wikimedia New York City. I have one coming up at the Smithsonian in October. You should come. I generally just try to talk about editing. 
um, and remind people that this massive free-floating body of knowledge was written by people just like them. Um, I've also written about Wikipedia beyond the this thing is weird genre. This encyclopedia can make you laugh, it can make you cry, it can make you wonder, it can make you smile. It's got everything you could ever want to know. Non-traditional bagpipe usage, fictional worms, uh, islands and lakes, islands in lakes on islands, islands in lakes on islands in lakes on islands in lakes. <laughs> Um, I know, of course, that Wikipedia is not here for humor, but I do think that those little moments of eccentricity show readers that this site was written by people like them. Um, I like this quote from an article about the history of encyclopedias that ran in the Atlantic, and it was also featured in the signpost last year. Accuracy, of course, can better be won by a committee armed with computers than by a single intelligence. But while accuracy binds the trust between the reader and contributor, Eccentricity and elegance and surprise are the singular qualities that make learning an inviting transaction. And they're not qualities we associate with committees. So thank you for the award. I am so honored. Um, it's been great to meet so many of you at various conventions over the past few years. Um, and at the Wiki Bar in Berlin, which, if you didn't know, is a public space for people to work on open source projects. I just went for the first time a little bit ago. So you have projects. I have a platform. Let's keep working together, and thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much, Annie. Congratulations. Jimmy, I think Annie has mastered the this thing is weird genre. Um, I've never personally lived in an airport, but I do have a favorite island in a lake on an island in a lake and that is Treasure Island in Manitoulin Island in Canada. Jimmy, do you have a favorite list of lists? Of lists? <laughs> well, you know, it's funny because I uh, recently, I don't know, a month or so ago, I, uh, I met Annie. We had breakfast in London. She happened to be traveling through London, and we met up. And we actually, I told her I was going uh, backcountry camping on Isle Royale, and then she started talking about this. And, in fact, on Isle Royale, uh, there was it, – it's a fascinating story – I've been, this is uh, my fourth trip. Every, the previous three trips, I, I would talk about this to my children who I take. Uh, the Moose Boulder, uh, which would have been the largest known island in a lake on an island in a lake on an island in a lake, because it's uh, this uh, Royal and Lake Spirit. It's got lakes on an island. It turns out, and I found this from Wikipedia, that in 2020, it was reported to be a hoax. Someone actually went there to check, probably a, not a Wikipedian. But it had been reported in sources, and so Wikipedia used to say that it was, uh, and so now it's turned out to be host. So that kind of stuff, like that's, it's so cool because just think about how obscure is that, and that someone in 2020, when it was reported to be a fake, actually went into Wikipedia, found where it said that, and fixed that, even though it's this incredibly trivial little detail. It's amazing. I love it. I'm always impressed by how meticulous our community members are. Once again, congratulations, Annie. Thank you for sharing the magic of our projects with the world. Jimmy, the next category I'm also really excited about, first year premiered last year, and that's the Tech Contributor of the Year. Why do you think it's important to bring attention to the tech community? Well, I, you know, I think this is um, just incredibly important, and it's sort of obvious why it's important, uh, just because you know, Wikipedia is a website and therefore there's technology and it needs to be uh, uh, fast, it needs to be efficient, it needs to be up to date, the user interface needs to be great. All of those things are incredibly important. Everybody knows that. But also uh, a lot of it is kind of, um, uh, it's behind the scenes for most people, right? We don't necessarily see it. We don't necessarily understand what's going on. Uh, it's just some sort of magic behind the scenes. And if if we can bring attention to these people, that's incredibly powerful. In fact, uh, I don't even know if you know this, Murda, but long before uh, Wikimania, before we started doing uh, Wikimedian of the Year awards, I actually uh, created, I made a day, Magnus Manske Day, uh, for the for Magnus, who had completely sort of rewritten, uh, well, 
actually using a database. And uh, it was like a great miracle uh, and just did it because, you know, he thought it needed to be done, which is like why a lot of things happen in Wikipedia. Uh, so I think we should highlight and celebrate uh, the volunteers who get involved in the technical matters. It's, it's really in incredible. Absolutely. And getting it done, I think, is a big motto for the tech community. Let's see this year's winner. I'd actually been running a private media wiki instance for multiple years, like before actually starting to contribute. But I got involved in contributing on like Google's code in event, which was like t like Google's event to introduce teenagers to open source. And I got involved that way and been here, here for a couple of years after that. I think everyone like really nice. So if you made mistakes, doesn't matter. People will help you. But again, hard hard to get people to review and judge because there's so much to do and so little people. I think like the work that the growth team is doing on like making it easier, like the structured and link tools and everything like that can like make the, do, make the, doing the first contributions easy. And I think people will get like more involved after that when they see how easy it is. Hello. Oh, we Hello. have a guest. Hi there. Hello. Hi, Tavi. I'm, I don't know if we've met before. I'm, uh, I think we have. Well. Hi. Wikipedia. Great to meet you. Same. Are you in Finland? Yes. Great. Fantastic. There are loads of people who do great work, uh, contributing to MediaWiki, running bots and tools and things, but actually um, toiling away on infrastructure that most people don't even see or know about, uh, but which is obviously, like in a way, the most important thing, uh, is incredibly uh, valuable and incredibly appreciated. This year, I have chosen you as a tech contributor of the year. So uh, congratulations. I thought when I saw you, I thought you looked pretty young, but <laughs> reading all this stuff, I thought, oh, he's, he's probably going to be sort of late 20s out working at <laughs> a big tech job or something like that. I'm sure you will be uh, <laughs> at some point. <laughs> uh, so if you ever need a... Um, if you ever need a recommendation or something to put on a resume, this will probably help. Thanks. Well, there you have it, Tavi. You can have me as a reference on your res resume. Uh, congratulations. How do you feel? Not all. <laughs> Very happy. Amazing. Um, you know, Tavi, you said so much, so much to do, so little people. Uh, I'm sure the tech community and staff can relate to that. Uh, yeah. Jimmy, how do you feel? Uh, yeah, you know, it's, as I said, it's, um, it, it's just, it, it's a great thing and it's often unsung. I mean, the editing community um, admires and, and honors editors, the tech community admires and honors tech contributors but we don't always cross uh, the lines all that much and and uh, sort of making sure that the tech volunteers are recognized as great heroes by the wider editing community uh, seems really important to me so that's great congratulations tabi what will you say to your classmates when you go back to your last year of high school this week uh not not sure yet <laughs> Well, big congratulations to you, and thank you. thank you so much. Jimmy, last year, folks asked us if we could celebrate affiliates as well as individuals. Well, this year, we have a new initiative from the Wikimedia Affiliations Committee, AFCOM, to set a future precedent for inter-affiliate exchange and capacity development. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, the, the impact of the affiliates, uh, the movement is, is enormous. Um, and, uh, you know, the idea really is, is so in line with the, with the general idea of, of Wiki of decentralization and so forth. We all know very well that uh, the Wikipedia content and all of the Wikimedia content is, is written in a very distributed manner by people all around the world. Uh, and yet not everything can be done in a pure Wiki way. You, you need to have 
uh, an existing organization and some staff are getting certain things done and so forth. The idea of top down managing all of that out of California doesn't really make sense. What does make sense is all these affiliates. And now we have different types of affiliates, including traditional chapters and then more thematic organizations and so forth. Uh, and that's, that's incredibly powerful. And so um, uh, spotlighting uh, great affiliates is, makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Uh, Tavi, I don't know if you can see the chat, but you're, you're getting a lot of love and people are so impressed by how young you are. Okay, for this next category, the affiliate spotlight. Um, thank you, Jimmy. I, I fully agree. And actually, Camelia and Jeffrey will tell us a little bit about this new edition. Uh, there are two categories this year that they are piloting. Um, if you were wondering what happens when you randomly join an affiliates team meeting, this is it. Hi, I'm Camelia. And I'm Jeffrey. And we're from AFCOM. Welcome to Wikimania 2022 Awards Ceremony. In 2022, AFCOM started a new initiative about affiliate spotlight. And this new award has two categories, partnerships and governance. The vision behind this is to initiate affiliate mentorship by providing capacity development support to affiliates across the movement. So, yeah, so we're not quite sure what to expect. Some I sort think, of yeah, let's, Wikimania related. Let's start, yeah, because there's supposed to be a, like, well, Mer that's supposed to be here. So, I mean, I'm happy to talk more about the weather. Or I have to um, firstly apologize. There's a lot of um, noises off today because I've got two brand new kittens. I'm trapped in my son's bedroom with them um, and because they needed some attention. They are like the cutest we things I don't know if you can see them um but yeah so so I shall try and keep myself muted quite a lot of the time but hi I don't know all of the guests I don't think I'm Lucy I'm um, executive director of Wikimedia UK and this is our usual fortnightly staff meeting but with some extra special guests hello hi Jimmy hello, <laughs> hello. surprise <laughs> hi I'm sure you're all boiling because I am Jimmy, it's like 17 degrees in Scotland, so no. But <laughs> Oh, dear. Uh, well, it's boiling down south, I can tell you. Uh, very you hot. You look quite red. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's because of my window. It's being weird. I think it's a really important milestone for the movement to actually recognize governance work. We've been talking about improving our governance all across and have been taking some steps, but I think this is going to be a memorable milestone that is going to encourage the type of uh, change that we want to see. You know, I'm a big fan of your chapter, have been for years now, and I can't think of a better chapter to kind of start us off uh, with this work. So congratulations, well done all, and uh, looking forward to continuing following the amazing work that you're all doing in the UK. To Wikimedia UK for the outstanding work that they've done to diversify their board of directors and take seriously the question of knowledge equity not just in programming, but in examining how representative their own leadership is. This piece on diversifying leadership is something I've heard talked about as important for years in many spaces, but in the little sliver of the Wikimedia movement that my personal exposure has brought me in contact with, I haven't seen any other group that takes this so seriously in-house. It would be great to recognize them for this and encourage others to follow suit. Anything I say is on behalf of the whole team and, of course, the board, um, but I'm, I'm particularly proud of this because we have been really wanting to um, to, to foreground diversity and, and to look at what that means for ourselves as an organisation, um, as a staff team, as a leadership, as a board, um, and not just in terms of our programme delivery and our partnership work. And that's been something we've really focused on over the last couple of years. Um, and I am really proud of the fact that we, that we do have a really diverse group of of trustees um, who are bringing their their different backgrounds and knowledge and perspectives to bear um, on you know how do we get the sum of all knowledge to everybody in the world um, so I'm really really proud thank you very much indeed I'm totally blown away and surprised I'm totally distracted by the two kittens tearing <laughs> up my son's room um, but this is really really lovely so thank you very much indeed um, I don't know if anyone else from the team wants to add something here it's I think there's um, there's a kind of lot of 
uh, sort of gratitude or congratulations needed for people who aren't necessarily here uh, to kind of get us to this point. And that's really what I want to say. Big congratulations to Wikimedia UK. Um, Daria, have the kittens been managed? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a process, you know, you, you have to work on uh, governance of kittens and organizations. And I, I swear our team meetings are normally much more organized and, and better governed. It's just, we were ambushed by this <laughs> award and uh, it turned a little more chaotic than the normal, um, yes. Well, big congratulations to you from all of us. Thank yeah, you. I, go ahead, sorry. I was gonna say a few words, but uh, uh, please go first. Oh, I, yeah, I was just gonna say uh, two, two things. Uh, one, uh, this did turn out to be uh, sort of a, a Wikimedia Cuteness Association event because of the kittens. Um, but also, I just wanted to be clear that the the quote or, or what I was saying when I was sort of announcing the award that was actually a quote uh, from one one of the people who nominated. I suspect, Murdad, there's going to be several of those. I was just concerned that someone thought I might have lifted their words and not given credit. I have no idea who wrote that. Uh, but what I think important about it is those are the words not from me. Uh, they're from someone who really thought uh, that Wikimedia UK should be recognized for this. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Um, so maybe like now that we were able to kind of marinate in this award and had a bit more time to reflect, um, I wanted to say a few words on um, accepting this award on behalf of Wikimedia UK. Um, so just to say I'm uh, Daria, Director of Programs at Wikimedia UK and we are a sizable affiliate um, and a UK charity with long movement history. Um, and that bigger affiliate size means that we have capacity to work on governance, but it also means that being bigger means that those systems are really important because it's not just one person looking after everything. And for me, governance means a lot of big concepts like accountability, integrity, compliance, but essentially it's about making sure that the organization is run well and that whatever it does, speaks to the overall purpose and the vision of the organization. And for Wikimedia UK, that's a more informed, democratic and equitable society through open knowledge. And the equity piece has been really important to us. We've worked on diverse content and underrepresented content in programs for many years, but recently have been focusing on bringing it into and kind of across the organization and thinking how as an organization who can speak to the equity, diversity and inclusion uh, principles. So we have a framework and an action plan that we're working on. Um, there's many actions that we need to be uh, looking after and working on. Like one example would be that trustees and staff have objectives to model inclusivity or that we monitor staff, trustee and volunteer leader um, diversity and kind of map it across against the characteristics of the UK society to check whether we are representative of the people that we are here to serve. Um, so maybe just one last point. I, I think governance is a, is a process. It's a bit like maintaining a house. There's always something to do. So we're excited about this recognition, but it's as it's just a note for us to keep on working on it and also learning from others. When we created our um, equity framework, we looked to organizations like Cool's Knowledge, Art and Feminism, or Afro Crowd, who work on things like knowledge justice, and we got inspiration from that. So thank you to them as well. Um, happy to share with others about what we've learned so far, what we worked on. So please feel free to get in touch with somebody, anybody at Wikimedia UK, and uh, we'll be happy to share what we've learned so far about working on governance. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, Daria. I know, I know 
having, having worked, worked with you in different um, forums, and a question you always ask is, who is not sitting at the table? And I've always appreciated that. Uh, we also have a note of thank you from Lucy, the executive director of the Community UK, who is on transit right now, and she's sharing her love. Thank you so much, Daria. And so in case you were wondering, um, not just Zoom bombing one affiliates meeting was fun, we did it twice. Enjoy. We are today doing an Hello. equity workshop. Hi. Hi. Sorry, excuse me for butting in. This is Jimmy. Uh, hello, everyone. Jimmy Wales, founder of Wikipedia. Uh, and I decided to just pop in to surprise you all uh, and to say hello. Yes. Hello. 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 Hello, Autumn Feminism. So uh, into this uh, initiative, uh, uh, we identified uh, Autumn Feminism uh, as the winner of the category of ambassadorship and partnership. So uh, we are uh, so glad because we, we know how <clears throat> what uh, uh, working on uh, gender issues means in our uh, uh, movement. So uh, I'm sorry. I'm start crying for this because it's it, it's uh, your your work. It's really important. It's uh, your commitment, and uh, it's uh, all uh, you are doing for this uh, for this uh, movement. So I'm so glad to uh, to take this uh, to, to give you this uh, this uh, uh, winner uh, this. Uh, um, Celebration, <laughs> this recognition. recognition. So, uh, um, hey, I'm sorry. Sorry. Hey. too often, the work of the organizer and trainer is not celebrated in the movement. Um, I'm going to have my own words here. Uh, you know, we we do celebrate the editors. Uh, we celebrate different aspects of the movement, uh, but we don't often enough celebrate the people who are organizing and bringing things to bear, and so on and so forth. For me personally, I've been on a campaign for many years that uh, Wikipedia is for everyone. Um, and so uh, when we realize that aspects of uh, Wikipedia and the Wikimedia movement are not as diverse as they should be, we're missing pieces of knowledge. We need interesting, awesome, incredible people from different walks of life who come at things with a different mindset, different ideas. Uh, and that is exactly what you guys are doing. And I really appreciate it. And just wanted to congratulate you and thank you for all your incredible work. My name is Kara Wisniewski. My pronouns are she and her. And I have the honor and privilege of being executive director of Art and Feminism. Art and Feminism builds a community of activists that is committed to closing information gaps related to gender, feminism, and arts, beginning with Wikipedia. We're honored and excited to be recognized for this new award. We love collaborating with passionate information activists that share our vision and values. We'll be celebrating 10 years next year and invite you to join us in this important work. And with that, I want to pass the mic to some of the tremendous members of our community. Thank you again. How better to say it than the very simple, uh, you know, sort of the original vision for Wikipedia, a free encyclopedia for every single person on the planet. Uh, and that, that means every single person. So it's, it's for all of us, and we need everybody to help us. So I really, really appreciate and love aspects of the movement that are really thinking about that everybody piece. 大家好我是Jessie,是目前HF的东亚区区域大使 Hi, um, welcome in the Guana Aussie Amaraba. My name is Sadek Shahabi from Tamale, Ghana. I am the West African Language Coordinator at Art and Feminism, and um, I work to support West Africa Indigenous language communities. Kawa Wiki Woman.
Hi, Kara. Uh, Hi. Big... Surprise. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so excited to to be here, um, to be celebrating the work of art and feminism um, and really the community of information activists from around the world. We're so, so honored to be receiving this recognition. It's well deserved. It's well deserved. Thank Congratulations. You it's well deserved thank and thank you for the lovely messages from your global ambassadors. It really, it, it yeah. takes a village, it takes a global community to do this work. And, and we're really, really, uh, we're honored to have you contribute to our projects. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, if I could just say a little bit more again, like kind of like Daria, just having the opportunity to reflect after a little bit of a a surprise uh, drop in meeting on an equity workshop we had, um, I can, just want to say a little bit more if that's okay with y'all. Okay, Please, great. we Thank you, thank you. Um, again, I'm so grateful to be accepting this award on behalf of art and feminism community. Um, it's an honor to be part of the class of 2022 honorees. I'm particularly excited about the DEI work of Wikimedia UK, so shout out to y'all. I really think that they're exemplifying that this work isn't just at the margins, it really requires us all to be intentional about equity. And what I think this award means for art and feminism, and I'm so grateful for it, is much like what Jimmy said, is that it's recognizing how important the role of community organizing is within our movement. Uh, it was earlier this year that Board of Trustee member Victoria Doronina said that the edit count is really a blunt tool of measuring contributions in the movement. And just really excited that the work of art and feminism is intentional about community building and organizing and that we're able to celebrate this with you. In a nutshell, if you're not super familiar, we strongly believe that people in their communities know their communities best. Uh, so myself, based in Baltimore, Maryland in the US, I have no real business telling an organizer in Uruguay how to organize their event. But we do have a Latin America regional ambassador, Paula dominguez Font who has that expertise and knowledge for that community. And this award really belongs to those ambassadors and network organizers of art and feminism. And I wanna just take a moment to name them specifically. So Alison Bates, Anthony B. Diaz, Paula dominguez Font, Madavi Gandhi, Richard Nipel, Amanda Meeks, Jesse Mee, Jason Oliver, Athena Petsu, Sophie Reverdy, Sadiq Shahabadu, Sophia Stankoff, Dominique Elaine Yao, Dita Ursula Zage. I also want to recognize the art and feminism leadership team, Nina Yaboya, Melissa Tamani, Amber Bearson, and Mohamed Sadat Abdullah. And then lastly, our board, Sarah Gonzalez, Nana Ose Kofi, and Carrie Cotton Williams. Additionally, shout out to the hundreds of organizers and attendees around the globe that are part of the art and feminism community. This award celebrates you. Um, it's through their collective effort that so far in 2022, we've had art and feminism events in over 27 languages around the globe. And through the power of Wikidata and the leadership of Mohamed Sada Abdullah, we have this really cool map um, that I'm going to put, I don't know, can I do a screen share with, with, with that? I don't know if I can do that. I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, I think you froze. Uh, Kira, I think chat might be easier. Oh, there we oh. go. Brilliant. Great. I feel we've got her map, but lost her. And I think she was better than the map. Oop, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I just want to um, say thank you. Art and Feminism is actually celebrating 10 years next year. Uh, so if our work and values resonate with you, please consider this an invitation to join us. And thank you again. Thank you, thank you so much, Kara. And from all the love I'm seeing in the chat, I think this is really a global moment. I also, so, just as, as a, a small little side note, um, I love the use of y'all. So I grew up in Alabama and y'all, we said y'all all the time. And then when I left the South, it was kind of considered low and southern and i didn't want to sound that way so i started saying you guys and in the context of the art and feminism award saying you guys which i heard myself do is not nearly as good as y'all i think we should bring back y'all as a gender neutral uh plural uh of you so i like i that. agree 
all, you all, folks, all, all great yeah. options. Great. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Congratulations, Daria um, and Kira, Art and Feminism Wikimedia UK, but also before that, Annie Rawerda, Media Contributor of the Year, and Tavi for Tech Contributor of the Year. Big congratulations to you all. We are at the midway mark of the awards, at least the, this year's award ceremony. Don't worry, we won't go over time. Uh, but we have a wonderful performance for you. Um, please enjoy Alfanoon Dance Troupe. Hi, everyone, and greetings from Palestine. Marhaba jamia'an, salamat min Palestine. We hope you are enjoying Wikimania. We are excited to be here with you celebrating the comedians of the year. We're Al-Fanoon Palestinian Dance Troupe, and we're happy to have you here with us today and to share some of our cultural knowledge with you. Ashira is a multimedia production that presents a contemporary visual story employing sound, body, images, and it takes the audience on a journey, and it's an emotional journey of love, um, defiance, resistance, and hope. Je 
الغزال طيبي رد الغزال جريد عين الغزال لمحة يا بنية يا بنية طرفي العيش كلية يا بنية يا بنية طرفي العيش كلية Did you enjoy that, Jimmy? Yeah, it's great. I've got the sound working for us now, so that that yeah. was really that's really fantastic. Yeah, that was amazing. Um, congratulations, El Fanun, and thank you for sharing your magic with us. I can't even imagine how many hours of rehearsal you had to do. You know, movement, dance, music can transcend artificial geopolitical boundaries, kind of like knowledge. Um, Jimmy, we started this category last year and it's been so well received. Why do you think it's important to recognize newcomers? Yeah, so um, this is why I, I delayed, I didn't want to talk about newcomers earlier because I knew we'd be talking about it here and it's so important. Um, so, you know, if we just think about uh, the day-to-day -day work uh, in, the, in the Wikipedia world um, and you think about trying to come into that work. So we have a lot of jargon. There's a lot of, um, you know, things to learn, um, a lot of the right way of doing things, the wrong way of doing things, how to challenge things if you think they're wrong and how to, you know, successfully make change and so forth. And we also have within the movement a lot of old friendships, a lot of people who've been working together for years and years and years. And it's actually quite easy to forget about newcomers and how important newcomers can be um, and to really welcome them and greet them and help them along. Um, and so I think it's important to recognize um, some of the, the, the great newcomers, people who've come to the movement, done incredible work over a relatively short period of time, uh, to remind ourselves that that potential is out there in so many people. And so that person who comes and makes one interesting edit uh, to a page, if you go and you thank them, they may blossom. They may say, oh, wow, this is great. These are nice people. I want to do more of this. And they could become as great as uh, the newcomers who were recognized. Absolutely. And it, it, it goes a long way to show how the community behind the scenes is so important in building the projects. And so, without further ado, this year's Newcomer of the Year. Sorry. So, hey, who's that? Can you Hello. Hi there. It's Jimmy Wales. Very who's good. That? Oh, that's Jimmy oh. Wales. <laughs> As you may know, um, one of the great joys of uh, what I get to do is um, hand out awards every year. Um, and uh, it, it's such a it's a great honor to meet uh, some of the really fantastic and amazing uh, volunteers um, we have throughout the movement. Um, and one of the awards is the Newcomer of the Year Award, uh, which I am awarding to you, uh, Dr. Os Adler. <laughs> 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 
uh, you know, one of the great, I would say, values in our movement is um, honesty with each other, except when it comes to tricking people into coming to get an award. <laughs> Dad, you knew about it, and we were writing, and we didn't say anything. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for all your incredible work and your and your leadership, which inspires other people to do incredible work. So it's just incredibly meaningful. Um, it's it's always been for me. It's it's really so you know the the original vision of Wikipedia is a free encyclopedia for every single person on the planet, um, and getting more contributions and more contributors from the African continent is just incredibly important. Like it's just like that is the future. Um, that is what the dream is all about, and you're a leader in that. So thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Karade Yusuf from the Recruiter Israel Group Nigeria, and we've got a surprise set up for both you and someone arriving at the airport today. Come along, let's go. Such a, it's a great honor to meet uh, some of the really fantastic and amazing uh, volunteers um, we have throughout the movement. Um, and one of the awards is the Newcomer of the Year Award, uh, which I am awarding to you, uh, Dr. Austin. Yeah! Again, thank you for all your incredible work and your and your leadership, which inspires other people to do incredible work. So it's just incredibly meaningful. Um, it's it's always been for me. It's it's really so you know the, the original vision of Wikipedia is a free encyclopedia for every single person on the planet, um, and getting more contributions and more contributors from the African continent is just incredibly important. Like it's just that that is the future. Um, that is what the dream is all about, and you're a leader in that. So thank you. Sincerely, it never came to me as a surprise. Um, Knowing fully well what she's been doing within the Nigerian community and also in the library world across the globe. She's a superwoman. I'm very happy that Dr. Inkim got this award of the Newcomer of the Year, uh, the Wikimedia Newcomer of the Year Award. And that's because I think that she has done a whole lot uh, in our way for the community. I just learned today that she joined the community in 2020. Uh, in my mind, I thought that she actually joined a whole lot, a, a whole lot longer, and that's that shows the extent of the work that she has done. Ah, it's so exciting, like very, very, very exciting to see Dr. Inkem winning the newcomer Wikimedia of the Year 2022 award. I could see her as the stabilizing point within the movement. Dr. Inkem is such um, a bridge builder. She's someone that um, has been able to, over the last few years, the last short few years, been able to do a whole lot that you would think she has been in the movement for the last 10 years. Having her come on board brings it closer to home. So now Nigerians can actually aim and hope to win this award. You see her tweeting with vibe and uh, to put the icing on the cake. And I was told, she, when I was discussing that, she said, well, I'm a grandma. And I said, ah! She has been able to create a bridge between Liberians in Africa and the Wikimedia project. And this is something amazing that we've been trying to unlock for a while in the users of Nigeria. And she has been able to, you know, be that bridge. And so for me, I'm super excited. So I think that it's very good for her, not just for her, but also for the Nigerian community and the African community at large. I really want to thank the Wikimedia movement for giving her this award. 
<laughs> I still lack words to um to express how I really feel because is it, 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 that awesome thing that hey all of these people that started this new thing along with you you know the ones you know and the ones you don't know that they are saying that you stand out I want to say thank you to Jimmy and um, the people that are, are behind this you know I want to I want to um, express my appreciation you know I don't know the criteria that we are used, but I'm grateful. Dr. Ankem, congratulations. Uh, I, I think you're celebrating with people. Who, who's there behind you? You know, like they say in um, in Nigeria, it takes a community to build to bring up a child. So it takes all of these people, the people that brought me to the door, Lori, um, Felix, my team at Afia, all of them. This award is for all of them. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Dr. Nkem. What will you tell your grandkids? How will you inspire them to contribute? Oh, I think the feed has frozen. Anyway, big, big <laughs> congratulations to Dr. Nkem and everyone in Nigeria. I, you could feel the celebratory moment. How That's did you fantastic. feel, Jimmy? I mean, I felt like I want to be in the room with them. I want to visit. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm glad the world is starting to open back up a little bit. Um, so. Well, Dr. Nkem's feet has frozen, but I think looking at the chat, um, she's being celebrated from all over the world. Big congratulations. Thank you all. Jimmy, I really like the next category, honorable mention. Uh, it is usually reserved for people that may not qualify for the other awards. Um, throughout the time, throughout since the beginning. And a few times, like last year, it has gone to exceptional community members who <clears throat> may already have a lot of public exposure. For example, Dr. Jess Wade, Carmen Alcazar, Dr. Neta Hussein. This year, the honorable mention is an affiliate lead and one of the most nominated people in our movement. And this award is not only for her amazing leadership, but actually for everything else that she does in between in her volunteer capacity and on her own time. Jimmy, why do you think it's important to have this category of honorable mention? And especially this year's winner. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the category has always uh, been, it was, I would say it's one of the, as far as I know, the earliest uh, sort of uh, not Wikipedia of the year, Wikimedia of the year category. And it was the beginnings of sort of recognizing that there are all kinds of people in the movement who can be honored for all kinds of things. Um, and in particular, I mean, what's interesting as well is affiliate leads, um, you know, it wouldn't normally uh, be, would not ordinarily get an award. We, we normally, it's all for volunteer work, um, but they're really important. Um, and it's really an, an incredible thing. And so uh, doing the honorable mention is the, is the right answer. The truth is, when you're an affiliate lead, uh, yes, you have your job, but uh, the great affiliate leads typically are pouring in huge amounts of their personal time, volunteer hours, work on a variety of projects. Uh, it's a pretty demanding thing, and we want to honor that. Absolutely, and let's see this year's winner. Hello. Hello. No, it's me, Jimmy. 
Hi. Are you sure we should be here? Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm here to surprise you, Anna Torres. Me? Um, yes, yeah. um, for your selection as honorable mention, uh, Wikimedian of the Year. No. And it's for really your work as executive director of you know Wikimedia Argentina. That's great, but really it's also. Uh, for how you go above and beyond to help others uh, and ensure the entire region can thrive. Um, I just wanted to read a couple of the, the nomination uh, notes because I thought they were very, very sweet. Um, she, has been, she has even dedicated her personal and volunteer time way beyond her working hours to us, the LATAM community. And she's dedicated that same energy to other big movement processes and projects like the 2030 Movement Strategy Process. She's been engaged on that on a personal level, just like any other Wikimedia volunteer. So I believe that Anna is an example of dedication and full engagement to her movement, and I would love to see that hardworking being recognized. We thought, oh, you must, you must be recognized, and you must get a cake. I had nothing to do with the cake, of course, but um, I'm always happy to see cake. Hey, Anna, right. thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm super surprised. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I mean, oh, this, well, thank this movement, you. This is... no, this movement means a wolf to me. I mean, Annie, estoy feliz. Estoy muy contenta con esta noticia. Llevo años pensando, ¿cómo es que Ana no es Wikimedista del año? De verdad que yo no encuentro a nadie en este movimiento que merezca este premio tanto como tú, que trabaje tanto como tú, que oriente, que ayude, que, que esté tras las personas, empujándolas siempre a cumplir sus objetivos, a cumplir sus sueños, viendo cómo sí se puede hacer. Yo estoy segura que a cualquier persona de la región iberoamericana que le pregunten por ti, va a decir lo mismo. Ana siempre está dispuesta, siempre tiene paciencia, siempre nos apoya desde el amor, desde el cariño, con mucha comprensión y siempre con risas. No sé, de verdad estoy feliz. Este, este es un reconocimiento a todo tu trabajo, es un reconocimiento, es una forma que tenemos desde el movimiento Wikimedia para decirte que te queremos mucho, que eres muy valiosa, que, que no te merecemos. Me hace mucha ilusión ver tu carita ahora que, que te entreguen el premio, que, que en videollamada, pero ya tendremos tiempo para celebrarlo. De verdad estoy muy contenta. Muchas gracias por todo tu esfuerzo. Muchas gracias por todo lo que trabajas todo el tiempo hasta en Navidad por este movimiento. De verdad. Muchas felicidades. Congratulations, Anna. I'm already crying. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Jimmy, <clears throat> Anna was wondering, uh, do you get that often? Are you, are you sure you should be here in this meeting? Does that <laughs> uh, I think that was the first time, actually, although people's reaction is often sort of confusion as to, uh, oh, that's the guy I saw on the banner, you know. <laughs> What's he doing here? Yeah. Anna, you said the movement means the world to you, but looking at the chat and, and all the nominations, I think it's quite obvious that you mean the world to the movement. Congratulations. How do you, how do you feel today? I'm still in shock. I mean, I've been in shock since I, I mean, since Jimmy appeared in in the screen. Um, I'm super honored, and yes, I don't know what to say. I have some few words to say in Spanish, uh, but um, yes, I'm honored to to be here. And yes, very happy. Please amazing. go ahead. Okay. Eh, bueno, buenas eh, tardes, buenos días también. Eh, a todos, todas y todes, en primer lugar quiero dar las gracias. Para mí es un honor recibir esta mención y estoy muy emocionada solo con pensar que hay gente de este movimiento que ha considerado que era una buena idea darme un reconocimiento eh, a mí. Eh, llegué al movimiento hace nueve años, lo recuerdo muy muy bien porque era un otoño bastante frío en Buenos Aires en 2014 
Y también recuerdo eh, cómo me acogió la comunidad latinoamericana, siempre impulsándome a seguir hacia adelante, siempre me decían que todo iba a estar bien. Y repetían como un mantra esto de, Ana, el movimiento Wikimedia es justamente esto, ¿no? Trabajar juntos y caminar juntos y a la par. Así que hoy me gustaría que todas las personas que estamos acá recordemos el orgullo que significa también pertenecer al movimiento Wikimedia, eh, donde la comunidad lo es todo eh, y donde la comunidad es el motor del cambio. Voy a dar algunos ejemplos. Eh, recuerdo cuando nos dijeron que por ser que las mujeres no queríamos eh, formar parte del, de, de, de Wikipedia, ¿no? Eh, me acuerdo que nos dijeron las mujeres no, no quieren formar parte de Wikipedia y tampoco las personas LGBT o más querían formar parte de Wikipedia y nuestra reacción a eso fue unirnos en una red global de sororidad para gritar más que nunca, nunca más Wikipedia sin nosotras. O recuerdo cuando nos dijeron que hacer una estrategia al movimiento de manera colaborativa iba a ser algo súper complicado y en cambio superamos barreras lingüísticas y zonas horarias y también días de familia y vacaciones con el fin de garantizar que esta estrategia eh, eh, quedara a manos de la comunidad y que el futuro fuera definido por la comunidad. Y no me quiero olvidar de momentos tan claves como, por ejemplo, cuando sucedieron los estallidos sociales en Latinoamérica o cuando la pandemia llegó a nuestra región y nos convertimos más que nunca en una red de apoyo, construimos nuevos espacios de conocimiento, de compartir recursos y nunca nos faltó una palabra de aliento. Podría dar un millón de ejemplos más, pero al final todo se reduce a que si bien todo esto parece muy simple, es muy extraordinario, significa trabajar juntos, juntas, juntes, vernos como pares, eh, definirnos como mejores socios eh, para aportar, independientemente de donde estemos, al bien común. Nosotros, ustedes, yo misma también, a través de cientos de iniciativas, eh, lo que hacemos es defender derechos humanos tan fundamentales como la educación, la cultura o el acceso a la información. Igualmente, y no quiero dejar de decir esto, todavía tenemos un montón de desafíos en el movimiento Wikimedia. Yo, a mí me gusta pensar el movimiento como un puzzle enorme donde cada comunidad es la pieza necesaria eh, y fundamental sin la cual no podemos trabajar, pero aún nos faltan muchas piezas y muchas voces. Eh, tenemos que seguir trabajando con las comunidades del sur global para que se sientan representadas en nuestros eh, proyectos, que los proyectos representen su historia, que representen sus saberes, eh, que representen eh, lo que ellas eh, quieren representar en nuestros proyectos Wikimedia y también todas aquellas voces eh, históricamente acalladas, que los proyectos Wikimedia sean un lugar donde estar, donde pertenecer eh, y donde participar. Eh, no quiero dejar... Eh, pasar tampoco de, de dar las gracias, ¿no? Más allá de la comunidad, este es un agradecimiento extensivo al equipo de Wikimedia Argentina, de la que, del que estoy muy orgullosa, y también de todos los directores y directoras eh, que me han acompañado en este proceso. Espero que este reconocimiento también lo sientan como propio. Eh, por mi parte, yo voy a intentar seguir poniendo un granito de arena eh, para que el movimiento sea un movimiento más descentralizado, un movimiento más justo, más diverso, con comunidades fuertes y sostenibles del que nos podamos sentir muy orgullosos y orgullosas en el futuro. Eh, espero y voy a poner todo de mi, par de mi parte para estar a la altura y les agradezco muchísimo eh, este honor. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias a ti. Thank you so much, Anna. Um, really, thank you for everything you do for your community, but also for the entire movement. Um, gracias. Thank you. So, the next category is also another new one. Jimmy, last year, people loved it. It was called the 20th Year Honoree, but we couldn't keep counting numbers. So. Jimmy, tell us about the Wikimedia Laureate category and what you find exciting about it. Well, so the Wikimedia Laureate category, as you say, it's an outgrowth of what we did last year, which was for the, uh, at the time we were thinking of a one-off sort of 20th anniversary special to, to recognize somebody who had been around for a very long time. Uh, but then it was such a great concept uh, because obviously um, the, you know, recognizing someone who's done amazing work in the last year or two is great, but there are also people who have been, you know, with the movement for 
many, 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 many years, over a decade, um, two decades in some cases. And, um, and so I just thought, yeah, this is actually a great uh, award. And it, in a way, it allows me to go back and um, recognize people who uh, probably should have been Wikipedia of the Year at some point in the past, uh, but who, for whatever reason, uh, didn't ever uh, quite get there. Uh, and so I think it's a great one. Amazing. Um, well, this year we're celebrating two Wikimedia laureates. They're both pillars of our movement, um, whether organizing Wikimania through countless contributions and the many, many hats they were in the movement. Um, and actually for the past two years, we've brought Wikimania online and how perfect it is now to celebrate two who have had so much support for Wikimania. Jimmy, last year we celebrated Lodewijk in the first rendition of this award. He was famously sitting in front of a gas station photo and you said Wiki loves gas stations. This year though, Jimmy, am I sensing swans? Swans, yes. I, I hear they flock together. Yes, I think usually about once a month or so. Shall we see? I think this is a, a great accomplishment that we've had to have a specific internship just for Wikipedia and Wikimedia work. Uh, so the interns that we have are certainly familiar with Wikipedia. Uh, I'm sure they've used it in their studies throughout their lives. And to be a contributor to Wikipedia is pretty amazing to see. Hi, hey, Kelly. Hi, Rosie. Wait, is Rosie going to join us with us, Kelly? Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey, Rosie. Hello, everyone. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hello. Hey, hey, hey Jimmy. Hey, I, I, had, I somehow had the wrong link. So I was waiting in a different room. It's all good. Andrew, how are you? Good. How are you doing? As you know, having been to a Wikimania or two, I would say, um, one of my favorite things is giving out the awards. Um, and I've selected you this year for uh, Wikimedia Laureate of the Year, which is like the Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, and uh, I've got some. Uh, so congratulations. Uh, this is my, my favorite one. Yes, Andrew Lee, Wikimedia Laureate. Andrew is a veteran Wikimedian. He's attended every Wikimania. He is the first person, citation needed, that's what I loved about this one, to teach Wikipedia at the university level. He wrote a book about Wikipedia. He's a Wikimedia clan strategist for multiple institutions involved with the juncture of Wikipedia, with the data, with the media commons. Um, Andrew is one of the, this is a different one. I love this one too. Andrew is one of those people that somehow manages to help groups move from complaining to action from talking to doing, which is absolutely huge. Uh, but congratulations. Oh, thanks so much. I'm, I'm humbled, very humbled. And humbled to join the group that Rosie and Emily and everyone else is part of. More than uh, yeah. more than happy to, to be part of that clan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're a freaking legend, so it's uh, long overdue, actually. And this is really more like, Okay, like who who should have been awarded at some point in time, um, but who are just the absolute legends in the community for for a very long time. Welcome to the club. You rock. You all rock. Thank you. I'm always appreciated. I can message Andrew at four in the morning, and he'll somehow respond every time. Great, Andrew. Congratulations. Hey there. Kevin was talking about 4 a.m. and now again, it's it's tomorrow your time. Uh, thank you for being with us so late, um, Jimmy. How do you feel about this this year's Wikimedia Laureate? Uh, it's great. Um, it's really fantastic. I mean, I I think um, I I always think of uh, Andrew as a real fixture of Wikimedia, not just because he's been so many times, because he's often sort of moderated panel sessions, and um, he he learned very early on that. If somebody wants to ask a question of the board, he, he would stay firmly in grip of the mic to help prevent people from just making a speech. <laughs> and uh, I think he's the one who first taught me that idea. But uh, yeah, Andrew, you've been around forever and thank you so much.
Oh, thanks so much, Jimmy. And, uh, you know, as a conference planner, it's driving me nuts that we're over time. So I'll keep it brief and short. Uh, it, it was an honor. It's such a humbling uh, honor. I was completely surprised when you jumped in our, uh, our conference call that I was thinking that I was recording a message for our interns at the Smithsonian, but actually it was a, a ruse. Um, but, you know, it's been such an honor to work with this community. And I think everyone understands that it's not just about individuals. Um, it's about the community of folks that you work with, whether it's affiliates, institutions, um, single editors, groups of editors. Uh, it's, it's amazing what this community has done. And I think that's what has attracted us all to this, the inclusion and the ability to help write, you know, the world's best and the most amazing compilation of knowledge that we've ever seen. And, you know, just two things jump out at me is one, you know, I started with Wikipedia as a course of study when I was a researcher and it was based out here in Asia for the first six years of being a Wikimedia and I was based in Asia. And that was always been a passion of mine is to bring more Asia uh, contributions and Asian con contributors into the fold, whether it's having Wikimania in 2007 in Taiwan or having meetups out here um, or training librarians in, in Kuala Lumpur, which where I am right now. Um, it's something I'm passionate about. And also in recent years, more about bringing more women's biographies into the Wikimedia movement. So, you know, it's been such a great thing to work with folks like Rosie Stevenson Goodnight and Emily Temple Wood, um, who really just moved the needle on um, the gender gap. And also just so many folks that um, you've introduced today. Anna Torres, you know, it's been a complete pleasure to work with Anna over the last few years. Um, and, you know, we stay for the people, we really do. And uh, thanks so much to Jimmy and Merdad, you've been instrumental as well in keeping this whole shit moving forward. Um, and it's been an honor to work with all these folks. Thank you so much, Andrew. And thank you for weathering many storms uh, with this movement. It, it really is really is appreciated. And taking a, a note from Andrew's book of event management, I do apologize. We are a little bit over time. But we have two more categories left and uh, for the next session it will begin as soon as this one ends thank you again for being with us today jimmy we have one more wikimedia laureate and our next winner is also a legend yeah definitely um i you know i know we're supposed to be very super serious and super worthy we're all about our good work and writing wikipedia and so forth but we also like to have fun and for me one of the most fun times uh in the whole of uh the, the wikimedia era uh, was the beach party in Haifa uh, in Wikimania. Who could it be? Let's see. <laughs> Last year, I instituted a new award. It was then called the 20th uh, Anniversary Award, but now it's renamed to Wikimedia Laureate. This is an award reserved for those contributors who have been involved in the Wikimedia movement for a very long time. In a way, it's even more prestigious than Wikimedia of the Year because it is dedicated to a sustained contribution that has impacted literally millions of people's lives in a positive way. Today, he has written over 8,600 articles in Hebrew Wikipedia, which is more than 2% of the entire Hebrew Wikipedia. He has uploaded more than 37,000 images to Wikimedia Commons. He's in his 11th round of 100 Wiki Days, which I believe is a world record. And Dror is a member of the Wikimania community, uh, sorry, Wikimania committee, and was the instigator and the general manager of Wikimania 2011 in Israel in Haifa. Perhaps this is what he had in mind with that first edit to famous mayor of Haifa back in 2004. And what a great Wikimania that was. I'll never forget dancing on the beach. Dror. I was trying to imagine how many thousand media wiki tables you have edited over the years as part of the Wikimania program. Uh, it is many, many thousand. Um, and for that and everything else that you have done, all of the edits, all of the committee work, all of the emails, and all of the joy that you bring to Wikimania and to Wikipedia, um, Thank you for all of your contributions and congratulations. There are congratulations on being recognized today. You've made so many Wikimanias so much better. Um, apart from all the serious discussions, the thing, uh, you know, I, I think you always brought so much happiness to the cause. 
Um, I hope your uh, headphones are working today so that you can hear <laughs> all the amazing credit you're getting. Well deserved. Tabrik Thank you, Dor. Dora, congratulations. Uh, I see people are celebrating behind you, but I think you're on mute. Um, thank you. That the message. You still have sound. Okay, am I? comes in and out. Um, I got the message from Jimmy during the Hebrew Wikipedia 19th birthday and it was, I was very surprised and it was really moving. Moving. I was almost almost crying. It's And I do relate for things many of you said. Um, I'm also an amateur photographer and I did upload 37,000 images to Commons but I still have a waiting list of more than 200,000 images that need to be uploaded. And it will take time, probably. Uh, whenever I am I'm upset with something, I go and write an article. It's like the battery on the iPhone that charges. Every article is about 30 to 40% charging. Um, I started with 100 wiki days, which is a great fun. So during that time, I got today 3,000 590. So. Wow. Congratulations, Dora. Yes, congratulations. Thank you so much. And Dora, your audio cut out, but I, I can see from the video that people are celebrating you. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for just being such an inspiration. And maybe we need an upload-a-thon for those 200,000 images. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for being with us. We have the final category. Congratulations to all the winners, Doror, Andrew, Anna, Dr. Nkem, Tavi, Annie. Thank you so much for everything that you've done and what an incredible celebration today. But now for the final award of the day, the Wikimedian of the Year herself. Jimmy, can you believe it's over? How did you feel this year? Oh, it's fantastic. It's a great slate. Um, obviously, this process has changed a lot over the years, uh, going from me sort of spending uh, a couple weeks before Wikimania, digging around on the wikis, thinking, and uh, asking around, and so forth, to now uh, a really a global nomination process, Murdad. I can't give you an award, but I would give you co-host of the year award if I could. Uh, you've been invaluable in terms of uh, corralling me and organizing all of this. It's incredible. So now it's uh, it's gotten to be a really big thing, and I'm really excited about it. And here we are. Drum roll. Indeed. And I'm actually excited to share that this is the first time we have a winner from Latin America for the title of Wikimedian of the Year. And so without further ado. No sé si ahí, ¿tú crees que es como que ahí iría bien, mi querida Meli, o qué puntos más habría que tratar? Hello, it's Jimmy. Oh, hi. <laughs> What a surprise. Surprise, how are you? I'm fine. I'm a little nervous now. Oh, don't be nervous. It's all good. <laughs> well, um, as you probably know, uh, every year I give out a series of awards. Um, for different kinds of um, favorable positive activity in the movement. But there's one award that's like really the big one. Um, and I'm happy to let you know that I've selected you as Wikibenian of the year for this year. 
what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Let me read some of the uh, some of the wonderful nominations that you got. Um, uh, she's always highlighting the work of people she collaborates with. She's kind and caring, and she's always open to learning. Those are all like fantastic Wikipedia values. Uh, I think her leadership has been key for the growth of the user group and active participation of other women in the community, which is something, uh, as you know, is something very near and dear to my heart, is bringing in more women to participate in Wikipedia. Uh, another one, I think she's a remarkable advocate for the Wikimedia movement and open knowledge. Uh, and then, you know, for me, this is probably the best one of all. Uh, Olga is such a nice and fun person. They represent the best of our community. So all of your work um, has had impact on all kinds of people, uh, both in Bolivia, but actually throughout the movement uh, as people, uh, particularly throughout the Spanish speaking uh, communities, uh, look up to you and admire you, as do I. Um, and so congratulations. You are the Wikipedian of the year. Wikimedian of the year, as we say these days. Thank you. I am. I'm. A- <laughs> very excited and um, I'm very surprised and yeah. here to, to speak of the Wikimedia <laughs> reading Wikipedia program and now I'm very surprising and I, I don't have words I'm I'm happy yeah. because I think the the women the, the women in the moment um they are working so hard and I am I'm a a small part of this group of women that are um, trying to change the movement and uh, give more space to everyone in all the world. <laughs> I have no. Voy a hablar esta parte en español porque si no no se va a entender muy bien. Congratulations. Gracias. He sido super. Y la verdad es que es una alegría muy muy grande porque en Bolivia hemos estado trabajando mucho para justamente incorporar estas estas líneas de trabajo, trabajar de una manera más abierta para que haya siempre más diversidad en nuestro movimiento y que pues siempre también el movimiento sea la vanguardia de la manera en que se construye el conocimiento, siempre pueda ser como eh, pues esa luz que da ideas nuevas que van luego, eh, digamos, reflejándose en otros entornos en Internet. También las reflexiones que hay en nuestra comunidad de eh, creo que le sirven a otras comunidades que construyen internet, a veces la, 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 los cuestionamientos y las discusiones en nuestra comunidad son muy enriquecedoras, todavía estamos aprendiendo mucho, en mi país por ejemplo estamos aprendiendo todavía mucho de nosotros mismos y es algo que me gusta mucho de la comunidad que siempre podemos discutir y estas discusiones también se llevan y se, se imitan en otras comunidades en internet y también se reflejan y es lo que estamos apuntando también en, el, en la vida diaria de las personas para mejorar la manera en que todos podemos compartir lo que aprendemos. Eh, yo ni siquiera me imaginaba esto, así que <ríe> sigo así como en un shock. <ríe> Estoy muy sorprendida y bueno, muchas gracias a la gente que, 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 ha, que ha estado, pues que ha decidido compartir con nosotros eh, la alegría que ha sido con construir la comunidad de Wikimedistas de Bolivia y trabajar en este proyecto piloto también. I'm so happy because uh, I, I choose this year to work uh, more, um, to, to have a more, um, a, a work more structured and, uh, and we are working to take more uh, big challenge to our, commu- to our community and, uh, and um, um, bueno, estoy, estoy muy feliz. Creo que no voy a poder decir todo lo que quiero, pero muchas gracias y por la sorpresa. Igual. <risa> eh, creo que es una de las cosas más sorpresivas que, que he recibido este año y tal vez en mucho, en mucho tiempo. <risa> gracias. <risa> Yo estaba. <risa> pero sí me creíste, ¿verdad? Sí me creíste. Ah, pues, y cómo no. Yo confío en ti 100%. <risa> <laughs> See, I hope this doesn't damage the trust that you have in me, Olga. <laughs> or, or she'll expect a surprise every time you connect. Now you need to, you need to just give her something big.
Olga, estoy muy contenta de que seas la Wikimedista del Año. Creo que es la primera vez en toda la historia de este premio que es reconocida una mujer latinoamericana con el premio mayor. Siento que es un gran paso que hemos dado como movimiento Wikimedia para entender que hay realidades distintas, para reconocer el trabajo que muchas veces nos cuesta más a las mujeres y a las mujeres de Latinoamérica. De verdad que siento que este reconocimiento habla de que estamos entendiendo que hay diferentes realidades, que hay diferentes complejidades en nuestros países, en nuestras comunidades y que nosotras nos esforzamos muchísimo por salir adelante. Estoy muy feliz de que tú tengas este premio. Estoy muy contenta de que la comunidad te haya elegido. Muchas felicidades. Olga, congratulations. Uh, thank you so much. What do you, what do you have to say? Olga, are you able to hear us? I can hear you. Well, big, big congratulations to you. Um, Enhorabuena, Olga. Felicitaciones. How do you feel? ¿Qué tienes que decir? Bueno, creo que la mayoría de las cosas que quería decir ya están en el video. Estoy, sigo súper sorprendida. Aquí está. Olga, ¿tú nos puedes escuchar? Sí, ustedes pueden escucharme. Sí, les escucho. Ah, yeah. eh, bueno, y que aquí a mi alrededor está mucha gente del grupo. Bueno, enormes felicitaciones, Olga. Teníamos una reunión, así que bueno, están por aquí sin saber bien qué pasaba hasta ahora, así que los ven ahí. Las cosas que quería decir ya están en el video. Estoy, ah, bueno, sí. sigo súper sorprendida. Creo Hola. que. Es bueno agradecer ¿Sí? también que sí, el movimiento ya, ya. ahora es mucho más abierto eh, bueno, y me alegra aquí, eso y esto es una bonita oportunidad no, 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 para agradecer el trabajo de todos, Teníamos de cada persona reunión, que hace que, bueno, una pequeña aquí, edición si pasaba, y pues ahora, que si la estrategia eso, también eso, ha mostrado que ahora podemos... Ah, bueno, sí, podemos sí, invitar sí, a todos a tra seguir transformando bien, Wikipedia sí, para que sí, podamos sí, hacer un movimiento abierto, aún más diverso. Eso, ahora estamos trabajando con idiomas eh, de Bolivia, con algunas lenguas indígenas. Y pues eh, creemos que ahora podemos decirle con certeza a la gente que puede ser parte de nuestro movimiento y que el movimiento está abierto a muchos más cambios y que son bienvenidos para transformar y seguir transformando Wikipedia y todos los proyectos Wiki. Uh, quiero agradecer a toda la gente maravillosa que he visto hoy día en este evento y pues eh, en realidad el mensaje final es todos, quien quiera que nos esté viendo ahorita puede editar Wikipedia y cambiar eh, cómo se está construyendo conocimiento libre. Todas las voces son bienvenidas y pues que sí, hay, es, un, es un proyecto con mucho corazón y que pues aquí vamos a estar a esperarlos para dialogar, para discutir y para seguir construyendo algunos proyectos que lideren la transformación en una internet mucho más diversa, mucho más democrática, donde escuchemos a todos y nos escuchemos a todos y estemos dispuestos a cambiar. Pues yo creo que con eso ya está y un gran abrazo a todos otra vez. Thank you so much, Olga. Really appreciate it. Congratulations. Um, and, and thank you for all the incredible work. And Uh, I'm seeing messages to you from around the world. Big, big congratulations. Uh, congratulations, all winners. Uh, I do apologize for having gone over time. This is truly an award, and you know people are having a good time when this happens. Uh, thank you for joining us for the Wikimedian of the Year 2022. Uh, keep the party going. Great sessions following this, but also we have Carrie Yoki in the networking tent. I know I'll be there. Um, And that's it. Jimmy, how do you feel? It's great. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations to all the winners. Annie, Roar, Olga, uh, Andrew, Anna, Tavi, all of you, congratulations. Uh, and Kem lost her connection, but we'll, we'll, we'll splice her in, in the group photo. Um, <laughs> thank you all so much. Great. Congratulations. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the last day of Wikimania.